In this three steps to sketch on function transformations, we're going to look at a transformation of y equals one over x squared or the square of the reciprocal function. So we wanna graph y equals negative one over x plus three squared minus two. And we'll do this using our on the graph method. All right, so here's our equation and our setup. And let's note our parent function and get a quick little sketch of it off to the side. So we're working with y equals one over x squared as the parent, and that's our volcano. It's got the symmetrical curves in the first and second quadrant, and it does have asymptotes. It has one at x equals zero, or on the y-axis, and another one at y equals zero, or on the x-axis. All right, so let's analyze these transformations. We can see that our horizontal or our x affecting, tra x affecting transformation happens in here with the x in this denominator. Um, and we know that we want to think about this as if we were solving. So let's write a helper equation. And we know that to solve the helper, we would subtract three. So that's exactly how we'll apply this horizontal transformation. We will move our graph left three or subtract three from our x's. All right, and that's our only horizontal transformation. So everything else is a vertical transformation. It'll affect the y's. And that's gonna be just negative out front and understood negative one, so a reflection, and this minus two, so shifting everything down two. All right, we know we need to apply these in PEMDAS order, so multiplying comes before subtracting. But negative one, we will note reflects vertically, so that's over the x-axis or that's really just multiplying your y's times negative one or changing their sign. Okay, and then next we will shift everything down two or take away two from our y's. Okay, so now that we have our transformations, let's go ahead and move to step two. We'll plot our parent function um, and then we will transform using different colors to show our intermediates. All right, so like we talked about, this is our volcano, is our nickname, and we know our parent points are at one, one, and at negative one, one. Okay, we won't draw the asymptotes on there um, until the very end because we don't want an, a lot of extra information here. Okay, but we do understand that the parent asymptotes are on our axes. All right, so let's switch to blue to apply our first transformation. Okay, so take your parent points and move each of them left three and mark that with a blue X. Okay, notice that your vertical asymptote, your X equals zero asymptote, I'll sketch it on, put it on the sketch up there. Notice that a shift left three will move a vertical line. It will move it left three as well. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. All right, we're done with that transformation for now. Let's move on to our vertical and let's switch to yellow. So now we're working from our blue X's to apply the reflection over the X axis. So that just makes our Y's negative. So both of them flip over the axis. Okay, we're done with that transformation and now we can apply the final one. So let's switch to red and move those yellow X's down too. All right, so each of them are moving down two. And we are done applying the transformations. Um, before we finish this up and move to step three, note that your horizontal asymptote was at y equals zero. So reflecting over the x-axis is not going to change something that is on the x-axis. However, shifting a horizontal line down two will move that horizontal line down too. Okay, so it kind of follows those points. Um, and that's something good to keep in your mind. Okay, so step three, let's darken our final points. That was these red points right here and here. And we can sketch our graph, but before we sketch the graph, we do want to put in those asymptotes that we've been talking about. So remember that the vertical asymptote from the parent that was at x equals zero it also moved left three and we said it should end up at x equals negative three, which is right between our two final points. So we should feel very confident about that. Okay, and then our horizontal asymptote 
originally was at y equals 0. The reflection did not change it, but it does move down too, because if you have a horizontal line moving up or down will affect that. So that new one is at y equals negative 2. Okay. And one final note, you could have easily found this information on the asymptotes just by looking at your equation originally. So notice that this x plus 3, when we put it into our helper equation, that gives the asymptote right there if you were to solve it, x equals negative 3. So it's a nice trick to quickly find the vertical asymptote. And then the horizontal asymptote shows up right here because we know that a vertical shift, whether it's up or down like it is in this case, will change that horizontal asymptote. All right, so just a nice tip for quickly finding the asymptotes if needed. All right, so now we should feel confident that this is an upside down volcano. Just like this. And we've got a great graph of this square of the reciprocal using our on the graph method.